Did you know that our area is known for its abundance of locally grown foods? Well, August is Eat Local Month in King County when we celebrate our local food community and those who grow, raise, make, and cook to share it with all of us. The Tilt Alliance works in the community with local growers, eaters, and Cheryl Weiser joins me now. So glad to have you here. She's been telling me all these stories off camera and I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. So first of all, well, you've certainly brought an abundance to our studio. Mm -hmm. um, tell us what the Tilt Alliance is and what role it plays with locally grown foods. Uh, Tilt Alliance works in community with Washington farmers, gardeners, and eaters to build a healthy, sustainable, and equ equitable food system for all. We're also part of the statewide Eat Local First Collaborative, mm -hmm. which uh, we launched uh, with other partners, Eat Local First and the Washington Food and Farm Finder mm -hmm. in 2020, which is a great resource for um, consumers to help mm -hmm. them find local food and also to support local farmers. It's so important because, you know, we were talking earlier in the show about, you know, the joie de vivre, this art of mm -hmm. living well. And I think as Americans, we've forgotten that that produce doesn't have to come out of state. It doesn't have, I mean, it's actually better if it comes locally especially because Eat Local is this month, August. What does that mean? What that means is it's a way for us to shine a spotlight, like you said, mm -hmm. on all of the amazing people that we have right here in King County who are making local food right possible. Right here in King County. We're right not just talking about the Pacific Northwest right. in general. So we're focusing on King County this month. There are other Eat Local months that are going to be happening okay. in September in Western right. Washington. You can learn about that on uh, eatlocalfirst.org. But it's also a way for us to make sure that folks in King County know about Eat Local First yes. and the Washington Food and Farm Finder. And it's also a way to help them just be more aware of different ways to eat to eat locally yeah. um, because it can start in very simple ways it's there are more ways that's, to connect in addition to the farmers market that's key because sometimes it gets a little overwhelming mm -hmm. even when I go to the farmers market mm -hmm. I walk around I don't know what to buy because I'm like I don't know what to make here so this is this is really great that we're talking about this this table itself represents mm -hmm. all of the different ways folks can connect with local food. Tell us, let's go down the line actually, that'll be easier. And tell me what we got here. Okay, so we're gonna start at the very beginning. So you can actually start with some local seeds. So seeds. we have seeds that are actually have been grown right here on Vashon Island by Wild Dreams Farm and Seed. And also another great resource for consumers is the King County Seed Library, oh. where you can go and they do seed sharing and seed swapping. It's a great resource. Neat. Uh, also, uh, Tilth Alliance has a program we manage called the Garden Hotline. And you can grow some of your own. So right here, these are um, some herbs that I grew, I brought in uh, from my garden today, rosemary, lemon verbena, basil. Look at that. Uh, so that's a really great way to get started. And so, yeah. I was gonna ask, where is this seed library of King County? I I believe it is, don't quote me okay, on this. Okay, not to put you on the don't spot. Don't put me on the Go spot. Go Google it. Google it. G Google wow. the King County Seed Library and also uh, Go find the garden hotline. This is beautiful flowers, speaking of garden. These are gorgeous flowers, and this is very exciting because we now have uh, the newly launched Washington Hmong Farmers Cooperative, and that is 14 farms, mostly in King County, some in Snohomish, that have banded together, and they are making flowers and produce wow. available uh, for consumers and also for wholesale. So they actually put together um, these flowers, this is from Unique Farm. They're actually in Monroe, which is Snohomish, but that's okay. And these are gorgeous flowers. Those so are beautiful. Yeah, so they made oh, these for you. I and love yeah. that. Oh, for me? Yes, they oh, did. Thanks, We're guys. leaving these for you. Of course, we oh, had to bring the good stuff. That's so beautiful. Um, okay, let's get to this box, this Tilt Alliance box. What's up with the box? The box is Tilt Alliance has a CSA. Okay. So a CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Okay. And that is literally where you as the consumer can get a share of the harvest. Oh. And so CSAs, you can do a seasonal CSA that could be just the summer right. months. You can do spring or summer. There are CSAs that are year round. And so this is literally what is coming off the farm. So I just want to point out that the this beefsteak, tomato, the garlic, 
and um, came right from Rainier Beach Urban Farms and Wetlands, really? which Tilth Alliance manages and is the biggest urban farm in Seattle. And then we also work with other farm partners around Washington State to source from them. And so um, Eat Local First has a uh, CSA finder, so you can look for CSAs that way. This is a great way to support local farms. Well, and an easy way where you're not really searching. I mean, this is the, I love this. This is a great way to start and then find things you love. Speaking of things we love, I, I want to talk about some of the things that are locally made here because I know it's also Local Makers Week. And so with the time that we have left, let's talk about the things that are locally made. Great. Okay. So we have some products that came to us today from Local Yokels, which is a local food delivery, and they deliver produce and greens and also a lot of products that are from local makers. And what that means is that these are small businesses that are working directly with local farms to uh, create new products. So this is Huxon uh, vinegar. Um, we have these beautiful, um, uh, you can also have uh, fantastic um, soaps and products for Ooh. the body. So these are, um, that's from Deschampia. Ooh, Desert and Dreams, it does smell it's like beautiful. a desert. And they also source using from local forest products. We have pickles, we have this really uh, wonderful uh, kombucha from Culture Shock Brew. This is very cool. Greenwood Cider uses fruit from uh, city fruit that has been gleaned. We have Firefly Kitchens. Aditi Chai is using uh, locally uh, sourced herbs. And then, of course, we have dessert from Hot Cakes. And oh, I know. Of, I'm like, sorry. Right? So <laughs> all of the eggs that Hot Cakes uses in their product come from Wilcox Farms. That is so cool. Yeah, all amazing. right. Did, and you made this right, jam I from... Made this. Let's try it. Let's okay. cheers to it. And your upcoming nuptials. Yes, I made this for... Um, for your our, wedding? Our wedding. And you made this from all locally so sourced... Right. So this is from uh, local apricots. Cheers. Cheers. This is great. Mm. We barely got to talk about everything, so you have to come back, okay? I can't wait. Oh my gosh. So Tilt has lots of fun activities. Oh, that's delicious. We have lots of fun activities and even contests planned for Eat Local Month. We're going to have the link on our website. Literally, that's so good. My mouth is, is like <laughs> drooling.